if I just brush with this Mr. Brush settings, it's going to make the image look good. So it doesn't matter if you're using these settings for a headshot, portrait like this, or a full body shot, it's going to work just fine for you. What is your Mr. Brush settings? I've gotten this question a lot of time. I'd like to know your Mr. Brush settings. Let me know in the comment section. This video is to answer all your questions about the Mr. Brush settings. And at the end of this video, I'm going to give you a bonus tip on how you can set your Gaussian blur radius and also how you can actually use the mixer brush to retouch your image. So I'm going to delete everything like this for this image so I can start. And if you want a tutorial on how I retouch this image, let me know in the comment section. I'm going to make that video. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to place my library person on Ctrl J or Command J if I'm using a Mac. And also make sure my mixer brush is selected. Once your mixer brush is selected, the first thing you are going to do, make sure you come to your brush right here. And changes to a soft hand brush because if you brush with the hard brush it's going to leave rough edges so make sure your brush is set to a soft hand brush hardness is set to zero okay now after that come to your brush settings right here click on it and for your brush settings make sure your edges are smooth as you can see right now the edges of this brush is smooth so make sure this smoothness is selected and protect texture right here is also selected and if yours is set like this just close it all right so that's the second step make sure this place right here this place i'm showing dark right here make sure it says to a clean brush not on load brush make sure it says to clean brush also make sure this place right here is not selected this place right here make sure it's not selected because if this place right here is selected if i just run focus separation come to my touching if i just run focus separation let's just run focus separation and let's just use the for this image if this place right here is selected if i brush it's just going to brush the existing color right there on the image so if i just brush right now it's just going to brush the foreground color of the image so even if i change it to black and i try to brush it's going to brush black if i change it to white like this and I try to brush it's going to brush white like that so make sure this place right here is not selected so let me just delete this layer and create a new layer and this place right here is going to set to transparent once you uncheck this place it's going to check to transparent so right now if I brush it's just going to sample color from the existing place which I want to brush on like that this place right here is going to change to load solid color if you try to paint on the image but it doesn't really matter because this place right here is set to transparent okay so the first step make sure this place is set to clean brush after that make sure this place is not checked but if you paint it's just going to change to load solid color only but since this place is transparent it doesn't matter all right moving on make sure this other place right here is checked and this place is called clean brush after each stroke so what this means is that if i paint it's just going to clean the brush for me like this one right here if this one is selected if i paint it's just going to paint the existing foreground color but this one right here is called clean brush after every stroke so once i brush right now since this place is transparent it's just going to clean the brush for me after every stroke and sample the existing color in that particular place so this one is very important make sure this place is selected so once you start tweaking your mixer brush setting, this place will automatically turn to custom like that. Alright, now moving on. For my wet, I use a weight of 20. And my load, my load is 30. For the mix, it doesn't really matter which mix you use. Because this place is done transparent, so it doesn't really matter which mix you use. You can change your mix to 0%, you can leave it at 100%, it's not really accepting the image. This place right here is says to transparent. So let me quickly explain why this mix doesn't really matter. If I just create a new empty layer, and I just click on this place right here, this place right here is going to show the foreground colors. So if I just paint red like this, and I just switch to the uh, foreground again, and I change, let's use green, and I pick green, and I just paint green like this, now if the mix is on 100 percent if i just paint on these two colors right here it's going to try and mix these colors just it's just going to try and mix the colors like that but if this mix right here is set to zero percent and i just mix it's just going to paint the green on the colors right here because the green is on the foreground 
while if the red is on the foreground and i just paint it's going to paint the foreground color above that green color but if the mix is set to maybe let's use 50 it's just going to add 50 percent of the foreground to the background like that but since this place we're going to set it to transparent it doesn't really matter if it's on 100 or if it's on zero because it's not affecting the transparent surface all right so moving on i'm going to put my flow to 20 like this and this place right here i'm going to put it on 10 like this and sample earlier is selected i'm going to come back and explain why sample earlier is selected so basically my mixer board settings this place right here is selected and also my weight is on 20 my load is on 30 my mix is set to zero percent or you can use any percent it doesn't really matter why this flow right here is set to 20 percent and this place right here is set to 10 percent and my sample earlier is selected now the reason why sample layer is selected is because i'm working on an empty layer if i was working directly on the low frequency colors and tones i'll just click on this place right here and uncheck this sample earlier so that i can work directly on the low frequency and tools but i feel working on an empty layer because if i make any mistake i can just delete that layer or erase the mistake from that particular area so let me show you how you can use this mr boy settings and also give you the bonus tip which i have for this video so let me use this image right here as an example now if i just click on focus separation on 16 bits this is the bonus tip if you want to get the right focus separation blur radius if you want your image to be smooth use a smaller blur radius and your image is going to be smooth so if i use two for this image and i use my mixer brush to smoothen that to this image it's just going to the image is going to look smooth but if you want to keep textures on your image just move it up a little bit like this just add a higher radius to keep textures on your image but in general if you want your image to be smooth use a smaller blur radius while if you want to retain texture on your image use a high blur radius for this kind of image basically i'm going to use 12 for this image because i want to retain as much texture as i want for this image so i'll click on ok and since i'm working on an empty layer i'm going to turn off this high focus right here and just pick my mixer brush and since i already have my settings i'm going to click on sample earlier and this is how you use a mixer brush so this is just a bonus tip as well so make sure you're brushing your highlights separately so use the highlights just paint on it separately like this okay and also make sure you're brushing your shadows separately like this and just make sure you brush on the transitions separately as well so let me just quickly show you found after of what we just did so this is the before and this is the after you can see the before the before and the after we still have the highlights we still have the shadows and we still have the mid-tones so let's say i just brush the shadows into the highlights like this and i brush the highlights into the shadow like this i just brush anyhow like this it's just going to make your image flat and you're not going to see it's not going to look good rather so that should be fun after so you can see where i just brush right now just look at the nose and i'm going to see how flat the image is looking the before and after the before and the after so that's my missile board settings and you can use that as well it has been working for me and also i'd like to know the missile board settings you use let me know in the comment section and if you want to learn how to get the right focus separation blur videos make sure to click on this video right here i'll see you guys in my next video stay creative